Material buttons are great, but we know they're not always right for your app, so you write your own. Sadly, writing your own controls from scratch can be a lot of work. Desktop users expect hover highlights, focus, and keyboard shortcuts, which is tricky to get right. It goes something like this. You create a custom button in your app. Thanks to gesture detector, the button does things when you click it. You add in the appropriate variables and functions to store and manipulate states such as on hover and on focus, throw in some conditional styling for the button, give the button a mouse region, wrap in a focus widget, then an actions widget, and finally a shortcuts widget. Not to mention, nesting order matters for three of the four widgets, so if you accidentally put focus on top, nothing works. So tedious. Oh my, build method. Okay, so your build method has become a bit unwieldy. It's now at least four widgets deep, not including the gesture detector. So before you write all this boilerplate, check out Focusable Action Detector, which combines all the functionalities from actions, shortcuts, focus, and mouse region into a single widget. Instead of nesting all four widgets, replace it entirely with Focusable Action Detector. Give the Focusable Action Detector the same information that you passed to the previous widgets. The map of shortcuts, map of actions, a callback for focus changes, and finally a callback for hover changes. There you have it. A focusable button with hover effects and keyboard shortcuts. All the functionality you want without having to make sure that you're manually nesting four different widgets together in the right order. For more info on Flutter and all the other widgets, head to flutter.dev.